this is addition of non-decimal bases. I can talk to the students about when they were in the primary classroom and they were learning to add, that they may be familiar with using the addition charts. If we had one plus one, we would drop our finger down and over to where it meets, and we would know that one plus one equals two. Six plus four, we have 10. When we're working with other base numbers, we can create charts to do the same thing. For this presentation, we're going to be working with base five. This is our base five addition chart, which I'll work with the students to fill out the first time. If we look along the horizontal, we have one, two, three, four. After four, we exchange to the next column, so we have one, zero. It will be the same along the vertical. We have one, two, three, four, and then we exchange to one, zero. So now we can start adding. We have one plus one, that equals two. Two plus one equals three. Three plus one equals four. Four plus one, the students know that is base five, one, zero. We have one, zero plus one, or base five, one, one. Now we come back, we have one plus two, or three. Two plus two equals four. Then we have three plus two, or base five, one, zero. Four plus two is base five, one, one. One, zero plus two is base five, one, two. Four plus one, zero is base five, one, four. One, zero plus one, zero equals base five, two, zero. Now that the students have their base five addition chart filled out, I can present them with an equation and we can work through that together. As we record our equation to make sure that we are indicating that we are working in base five, we'll write a small five to the right of our number. So we have three and we're adding four. So we have base five, one, two. Then if we add three base five, that will take us to base five, two, zero. Plus we're adding two base five, so we have two, two. So we're going to record the two, remembering that we need to indicate that we're working in base five. The students will remember that we are exchanging two. So then what we'll be doing is we're adding two plus one plus one, which gives us four.